All right, hello everyone. My name is Speedy, and welcome to Dungeon Runners. Uh, I think Pablo was very surprised that we just went live. I didn't give them a warning this time. I like to keep Why? my players on their toes. That's not fair. <laughs> but welcome everyone. Roll initiative. Oh! <laughs> Beholder. Come You're on. all under attack already. Um, but welcome everyone. We are here with Dungeon Runners, our campaign in the Lost Mine of Fandelver. We are joined today by our illustrious cast, um, uh, Pablo. Hi, Pablo. It's me. I'm uh, scared. Ben. Hello. There's two hey, Pablos. Lee. There's two Pablos? You're right. Four's <laughs> name is Pablo. Why is four? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy one uh, last. Uh, Pablo again. Just kidding, it's four. <laughs> Thank you for those hosts. How dare you? Um, and Ishman. That is our crew for tonight. Um, we've been going through uh, the Lost Mine of Fandelver, and we've come to uh, come to a bit of a resting point for the players, but uh, that will probably change soon. Um, as we get started, I want to remind everyone of uh, of how you guys can interact with the game. So a $5 donation or a $4 game with sub uh, means that you get to give a natural 20 or natural 1 to one of the players or the GM, meaning me, um, uh, of your choice. So uh, you get to have a massive impact on this game and help someone out if you want to or screw them over. My stream is very choppy apparently. Great. Uh, it looks okay to me. Oh, look at that background. Look at you. Yeah, he does that. Oh look yeah, that yeah. Back. I have a green screen now. Woo. You're so. Oh, you have just come screen. alive. Be, be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. But yes, monthly sub, Yami. Uh, so yeah, a five dollar donation or four dollar sub will get you that. Um, a two dollar donation will give you uh, inspiration to one of the players in the form of advantage on a d20 roll, and a follow uh, will give you a d4 of inspiration to any player of your choice. Um, so I could give myself a D4 thing, you know, since I followed him? Yeah. Uh, it's a little late for that, I'm sorry. Oh, she can lame. unfollow you. <laughs> I could. I can totally unfollow and never come back. You can't just unfollow and refollow. It's, oh, you're just well, I didn't plan to back. refollow. Oh, okay. I <laughs> just like, oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's totally fine. Then. Yeah, just leave. Um, we don't need you. We do need you. Please don't leave. Please don't leave. <laughs> I'm just a reoccurring guest that never leaves anyway. That's true. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you. Uh, welcome Edible Rubber, Dan, Ayami, uh, Four, and Dead. Welcome, welcome one and all. Uh, thank you for all those hosts. Um, go ahead and uh, send out a retweet on that latest tweet of ours. Um, and it didn't work. Man, it didn't work. Oh, that's probably because I said it as the bot. Hey, Speedy, you have a retweet bot. goal when we get like five retweets, everyone, all the party members get a nat 20, right? Sure. No. Wait, that's not right. <laughs> that's not right at all. <laughs> that's not the latest mm, Twitter uh... tweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that is, uh, those are how you can interact. Uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna f send out a new tweet. But as I do that, let's go through all our players, have you guys describe who you're going to be playing today. Uh, let's start, as usual, with uh, Pablo as Pete. Pablo Ross. Pablo Ross. I, Pete. I have a big old stick. I'm a, I'm a nature druid human. And yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and next up, Ben, who are you playing today? Um, I'm playing a Milo Applebottom, who is a thief, lightfoot harflin, who wants to be an owl bear. No, who wants to see people as an arrow bearer to rob them. So yeah. Nice. The halfling rogue, and uh, after that, let's go to our next halfling rogue, the great Haley. I'm the better halfling rogue, the replacement, <sighs> if you will. The great halfling. <laughs> the great halfling. Also known as Tira, who has an obsession with uh, money, murder, and men, of course. So she's she's here to conquer all and steal all your money. Dragon men. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure. As long as you're taller than her, she's good. <laughs> Rip Milo. <laughs> what about older men? 
What about like, old she's, dragons she's with wrinkly only... scales? What about, what about men who adore gourmet cheese? <laughs> no, she hates cheese, so no. <laughs> ah! Oh boy. I know so, I, I've learned so much. Alright, uh, next up, four. why don't you tell us a little bit more about your character? Speaking of, uh, old fat grandpa dragons who like gourmet cheese, I am playing, uh, Kirk Voltstone, and he's trying to make his fortune in Fandolin, but he can't rightly do that when it's on fire or when it requires an economy, and that's why he's down here trying to get the forge that this lost mine seems to have. Nice. Um, and last but certainly not least, Ishman. Hi, I'm playing Hadja Yonsling, the half-elf war cleric worshipping Doldorn. He is traveling and fighting in the gladiatorial arena to send money back to his home temple where he was raised, but he ran to this motley crew uh, and has been eating them in their endeavors for the last, like, eight weeks or something, like three days been like what three four days since yeah probably years. no it's been like a week we're I like think. best friends yeah you've been traveling for a while as well and you've taken a few a few rests um we've slept yeah together you're all you're all buddy buddy now right totally love each other and uh no one would ever betray each other ever never uh it's not like someone uh talked to me off stream and was like i want to do this no that's never happened bd don't even um, hey, you hey, you Speedy, tell them. if I act as surprised as as I can, they won't suspect a thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Speedy, hey, Speedy, I want you to start off by telling me about my magic loot. <laughs> the, 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 the thing in the One stuff. second, as uh, I don't re wait, you got maggot, maggot Luke? Maggot yeah, I got, I got Mark maggot Magic Luke. Yeah, he got I got maggot I got maggot Luke. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, Don't it's you a magical. Me. It's a magical metal loot. It sounds like an electric dart. No. Um, oh, yes. Uh, uh, no. We, we already uh, have one of those. <laughs> before um, before I do that, I'm going to give everyone a little bit of a recap of uh, of what's happened so far. Uh, Yami uh, given her monthly nat twenty to four when we start. Um, but. Uh, when we started, the characters uh, were given a quest to deliver some mining supplies for a dwarf uh, named, with the last name of Rocker, Rockseeker. He was working with his brothers to find the great lost mine of Fandelver and the forge of spells within it. Um, it's a, a legendary mine that was said to uh, have the power to enchant weapons and tools with magic. Um, with uh, with them, you were able to successfully deliver the goods, but uh, the Rockseeker brother who gave you the quest was kidnapped. You were able to track him down, but unable to save him from his fate as he succumbed to the will of the Black Spider. Um, since then, you've uh, traveled seeking information. You've fought dragons, including one in, uh, in the town of Phandalin, which uh, wrought havoc upon the entire city, destroying many buildings and uh, many of their goods, making it almost impossible for them to recover without some form of sustainable uh, a good, an export. Um, with that, um, several of the, the residents, like Kurg, wanted to uh, do something to help um, by going to the mines to restore the Forge of Spells and bring prosperity to Fandolin once again. Um, you entered the mine uh, and found the corpse of another one of the Rockseeker brothers. Um, and uh, while there, uh, you talked to him briefly, found out that he didn't know why he had died, uh, and all he knew was that his brother was still somewhere within the mine. After navigating through it, fighting through ghouls and zombies, and even a flame skull, uh, they found um, what appeared to be an encampment uh, containing bugbears and doppelgangers, um, which eventually led you to 
this room where you found the black spider himself surrounded by none other than several black spiders um the uh through a fierce battle and after the black spider tried to negotiate with you to get you to come over to his side you defeated them and killed the man who had been seeking this mine as well um and from there you uh you've returned to this uh, this resting place, this room filled with beds, for a brief respite, but still much more lies within the mind for you to discover uh, the forge of spells within. Uh, and so this is where we left off. Um, Pete, uh, also, while they were traveling in this mine, uh, searched within this pool using some um, <laughs> using some octopi that he had accidentally summoned um they climbed to the bottom of the pool and retrieved the skeleton uh, a long dead skeleton uh who seemed to be clutching a a magical wand of some kind and also several rings um at this point you want to you want to try and analyze those yeah let's do it let's stare i'm gonna stare really hard at him while he's doing this, I'm just doing some prayers on my side. Sure. Um, just staring really hard at them, uh, you're able to tell uh, that they are rings and a stick. Oh. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna just twirl around. I don't know how you figure things out with magic items. Usually that just sort of happens. Uh, um, fireball! So you can you can roll me an arcana check. Yeah, I'm great with these. Go! Okay, that's a four. <laughs> oh! Okay. <laughs> with a four ten, ten. with a four. Oh man. Um you don't really know what they are. You you can't even tell for sure whether or not they're magical or this this is just some piece of driftwood. Uh, oh, it's... The rings are definitely, you know, rings made of metal, it could be valuable. Eris F0, thank you for that follow. Uh with that follow, you get to choose to give a D4 of inspiration to any one of these characters, or me, if you want. Mm. Um, so go ahead and whisper that to me in chat. Um, I have a question for you, Dungeon Master. Yes. So, uh, as I finish up my my prayers, do I obviously see uh, Pete struggling with these objects, trying to figure out what, uh, what they are? Uh, it depends on how subtle he's trying to be. Uh, I'm just holding him out. Okay. Yeah, you can see him. All right. So, do they look like they're a bit worn, like they should be? You know, that skeleton was pretty beat up, but do these look kind of shiny and newish, where you would expect it to be like rusted sword? Um, and, like, I mean, it's kind of... it's there's no sword, but uh, yeah. Uh, no, no, no. But you know what I mean. You can like, roll the, the, the an investigation like, check on this if you want. No, I just want to know if it's tarnished. <laughs> Fine. Uh, you can you can tell. Um, I, I won't actually make you roll for this, just because I, I want you to know this. The, the rings themselves are um, they seem pretty pretty tarnished, but you can tell that they're made from a, a fairly fine uh, a metal, um, and you know they've they've been preserved fairly well. Um, the the wand uh, is. Uh, very well preserved. A, a stick like that, having been down there for as long as the skeleton you assume was, would normally have been, you know, decayed into driftwood, but it is immaculately preserved. I asked Pete if I can take a look at the rings. Sure. Oh, is there know. any kind of, like, insignia or anything on them? Um, no, they're they're pretty, they're just, they're just solid rings. Does the, sta the, the staff also, because I got the staff from the, the wizard man, does it look like I can hit people with it? Uh, no, it's not a staff. It's, it's you know, a pretty small stick. No, no, the, no, the no, staff no. Uh, from the black spider man. Oh, oh, yes. Um, does it look like I can hit people with you it? You could hit someone with it. In fact, you Hedrick. have been hit with it. I think. <laughs> or someone was. Hedrick, can I hit you with this to see what happens? You can someone try. was already hit with it. I, I don't remember who at this point. It was Hadrick. Oh, Hadrick, what? Can... Does it do things? I don't know, let me see it. Okay. I'll tell you oh. when... <laughs> I hit him with the stick. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> did that hurt? Uh, I don't know, did it hurt? 
Um, <laughs> I just rafikied you. Did it hurt? I mean, yeah, but did anything yeah, like magical? Yes, it does hurt. something. I hand it back to him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> hitting him with that staff. Um, I wasn't attuned to it or anything. Just saying, I was just hitting with the stick. Yeah, hold on. Let me double check the effects of this. You become undead. I am now your master. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> this is a bad day, for sure. Um. Um. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, you're going to need to roll me some damage on this. Uh, um, okay. What can I roll? Uh, one d ten thousand. Like quarter is, staff is one d six, I think. Yeah, it's it's one d six bludgeoning damage, and then also one d six of poison damage. Ooh. Oh, is this a quarter staff? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh, nice. It's a natural six on the damage. Nice. Good that. stuff. And then it's a d4 for the poison. D6 also. Oh, Ooh. And two poison damage. Yes. Does he have to make a, a saving throw against being poisoned? Um, no. <laughs> no, it's just poison damage. Ow. <laughs> it's not like poison ivy. You have like a oh, slight works. Thank you so much for hitting me! You're welcome, and I give it back to him. I'm really good with staffs. <laughs> Let's go. Apparently, I'm really good with staffs, too. <laughs> yeah, you, you hit him really hard. Probably helped because he wasn't expecting it, and you, you like didn't dodge in any way. <laughs> um, but yeah. So that is what you know. Um, the wand, uh, you, you can tell that it is magical, uh, Pretty much, um, if you want to wave it at someone, uh, <laughs> cast, try and cast something, you'll figure it out. Um, uh, Hadrick, I'm getting <laughs> you back. <laughs> bop. You bidi hit me with stick. Can you bop something. Bop. <laughs> I'm gonna bibbidi bidi bop bidi boo. You're gonna bibbidi bop. Are you hitting me with it, or are you, are you like waving? No, no, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna wave it at you. I'm just shaking my head. Is all uh, <laughs> it was a one to fireball. You just blew yourself up. Oh, a okay. magic missile flies out at Hadrick. <gasps> one or three. It's a lot of magic missiles. Was it a single charge or? Um, uh, I'll say that it's uh, it's just one. Okay, so roll. Because he four. just waved once. Yeah, roll, roll the damage one. for that. Four plus one. Um, yeah, there you so go. Two, two damage. It's a, it is a, a magic missile wand though. If he were to just continue waving it, he would be able to do three of them. Okay. Well, you want to do more? I uh, I I know how this works now. <laughs> okay. Um, I and is anybody else looking at me while I hold these rings? By the way. Is anyone interested in the rings more than I am? Will they I mean, fall take my one? Bident? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna eat right, some well berries. Then I put the rings in my bag of holding. Okay. Uh, I want I want one of them. <laughs> I, I want one. Who I mean, I found it. Spell at me. I mean, you hit me with a staff. That was like way worse. You you were trying to figure something out. I was helping you. I was, I figured it was it was equal compensation. You're fine here. Have some berries. You'll you'll be better. I'll I'll give you two berries. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I take the two berries and still put the rings in my bag of holding. Okay. Wait. Hold on. While you while you have that, can you take my my old quarter staff? I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore. If I've got I hold the bag of holding out for him to put the staff into. I'm gonna dump my quarter staff in your bag of holding. My old quarter staff. Quarter staff. Goodbye, old goodbye, old faithful. I crafted it myself, you know. <laughs> now these are just regular rings. Yeah, as far Ring, as you know. Gold, platinum. Platinum. Ooh. All right, now that we got that under control. <laughs> ah. I, I guess I had to ask all of you uh, which direction do we go? You want me to summon something? <laughs> well, there is a flaming skull through those Don't... doors over there. Didn't we I kill that already? Like that. Yeah, I thought so. Apparently not. Or it's back, or it's another one. I don't really know. They're just one over there. 
I mean, yep. to get rid of them, <laughs> I suppose. Well, I mean, there's still unexplored territory over there. All right, I think That's I'm gonna. True. We could either go through the flaming skull, or we could go back to that room with the the unsettling fungus. Uh, I mean, it looks like there's some. Oh well, I guess we can't see that from here. Uh, Do I hear anything coming from the other side of the door? Uh, if you want to roll me perception for it. Well, Speedy, I'm also going to summon something, so I'm going to send you the 22. list. The 22, you hear the faint flickering of flames. Is it a familiar flickering? Like it's still, it's it flickering. sounds like any other flame that you've heard. <laughs> like it's not, it's not a particularly interesting one. <laughs> it's the flickering of water. So Does it's, it make it's the Skeletor <laughs> noise? <laughs> I'm on Speedy. fire. Yeah. Speedy, one, Speedy, one last thing. I'm summoning something. <laughs> you got to pick. All right. Uh, There's the list. In Discord. Uh, just roll me a D whatever how many that is. Okay. A D whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have to figure out what that is. All right. This this could be really bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, was that? Please no. Oh thank goodness. Okay. Uh, this is the summoning dance. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> tell everyone beforehand. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna try and summon something outside this door. Don't be alarmed; it's a pet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna walk out here. Can you summon somewhere that you can't see? Oh, yeah. I'm it's as out. terrifying as the last few. <laughs> it's it's probably stronger than the other few because I'm only summoning one. So, <laughs> and I summon a giant constrictor snake. <laughs> <laughs> How a big giant is it? snake. Uh, let me look that up. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> Are we gonna have room to like this is, travel this is, the halls? It's huge. It has become oh, Arachimaru. It's oh my god. Huge. It's it's how how big is a huge creature? Here's how here's what's gonna happen. We're going to climb inside mm -mm. and mm -mm. it will take the damage for us. Nope, not happening. How nope. big is a huge creature? Hold on, let me look this up. I will ride the snake before I get inside the snake. <laughs> 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 He's like sixteen. Feet by sixteen feet. Sixteen by sixteen. What yep. <laughs> what the fuck are these? Like, it's a big old snake. What are druids? He's not gonna fit in the hallways. It's he. Well, I, well, I, I mean, him. It, it's not by sixteen feet. It's well, it's like, it's like sixteen, 16 feet feet. long. Okay. So it's probably like four foot girth. <laughs> Have you ever seen this video of a snake that was able to open a door on its own? No. It literally flopped onto the door handle, opened the door, and just flopped onto the ground with this thick, like, slap. And that's what I imagine is happening on the other side of this door. Just a, mm -hmm. like a... Big old slap on the ground. Yeah. Looking like a fool with your snake. Followed by fire. <laughs> I don't think that snake's big enough. Uh, hold on, I'm working on... <laughs> I, I put a snake there. It's oh, right you put a snake you. there? Okay. Yeah, there it is. It's got hey. bigger. It's not big enough. Yeah, buddy. Long enough. That's probably like about how it would be. Yeah. Yeah, it's about sixteen. Yeah, feet. I know. Okay. All right. I and, just uh, it, I made it feels so you like can it move it around too. There we've <laughs> got you've got a giant snake with you now. Congratulations. Goodness gracious. You put it in the water. Oh uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna do a little couple laps to get himself warmed up. Can snakes swim? Yeah, yeah of course. He drowns. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's got a swim speed. He's got a swim speed of thirty. That's not Speedy, possible. Speedy, he's you're from Florida. Speed. You know that yeah. snake speed. I know swim. That's, I, that's very true. He does have a swim speed. So, okay. so. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm trying to reduce complications you, by only summoning one really big thing. You have summoned a snake. There Instead of blocking us in again, like the octopus did. Yeah, you know, this is probably better. You know, if the octopi were like any bit fast, you know, that might have worked. But... <laughs> yeah, no, he did not make it by the end of the battle. Hello. What What should we name him? Good point. He's got to have a name. Mm. I, I don't know. I'm out of juice for names. I think you're getting too attached to these things, says Kate. No. 
Let for whatever see. reason, Smithers came to my head. But... Smithers? Smithers. <laughs> it sounds like Slithers. I like it. <laughs> uh, we'll call we'll call him uh... Stanley. No, Stanley? no, we'll call him a uh, Ticklemore. 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 Oh, I love it. He he. It definitely fits. Hmm. He should be named Ticklemore. Dude, what? I got it. Cuddle Lord. Cuddle Lord. Yes. <laughs> Anyone want a big old hug from this? He just wants a hug. That's all he wants. Mm. True. The biggest hug possible. We need <laughs> we need a vote. He just wants to hug you until your insides come out through your nose. Chad, what do you think this thing should be named? I like <laughs> Ticklemore. I like Ticklemore. <laughs> Alright. Carry on and... Uh, Carry on. Okay. You've been like Smithers, yeah. Yes. Oh, <laughs> like Smithers. <laughs> I think it was because we were talking about The Simpsons earlier, <laughs> so I have Smithers. Hey, <laughs> cool. Alright, hey, so what, what are you guys where doing? Where are we sending this thing? Uh, we could. He could probably take the flame skull. I he mean, probably take. <laughs> like, are, are we? Are we spectating? Is that what's happening? I mean, we'll help out, I guess. All right then. There's not to. I uh, go over here and I get ready to open the door. Oh wait, hold on, wait, hold on. Let, him, let him go. Come on, get him over here. He's he's a little chunky. He's a little chunky. This giant him snake is just up with the next to you guys. Oh my snake god! Out first. Yeah. Let's go. Are you afraid of snakes by any chance? <laughs> no, Kirk looks like, at it like in a character cousin. or out of character. I think it's super cute. So big, chunky. He's a big chunky tickle lord. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open the door and step aside and let him go through. Go, um, go, go! I, I can't. He's on I can't top get of to, me. I can't get. I can't him. get to myself. I can't get to myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sorry. and I open the no. door. <laughs> oh no. No, stop! Oh no. <laughs> yeah, well, who's moving oh, my snake? God. <laughs> He's escaped! Stop touching my snake, guys. Giant snake on the loose, oh god! <laughs> Alright, he's, he's gonna charge forward. <laughs> that whatever is out here. Alright. Um, the snake encounters a flame skull. Um, Does the snake tell us? I'm gonna tell him to go, just wreck face. I already said it was there. <laughs> You didn't know because I think Speedy stopped us all right before you got that door. I thought. No, no we I did. went out and I came back in and then came back to y'all. Was like, hey guys, I didn't go anywhere. Okay. Nothing um, happened. Actually, as the snake, uh, as the snake walks out uh, into it this walks. area, or <laughs> oh god, it, grew legs. it, it has grew little legs. tiny legs. <laughs> <if> you can't <laughs> see. <laughs> as the snake slithers out into the. Uh, the corridor, um, it encounters um, a large circle of flames. Uh, the like circle right of flames. Oh, it's gonna keep going. <laughs> it's just Did going they go right into through. a ring of fire? Yeah, it's all and go get the guy. <laughs> the ring of fire. All right, um, the ring uh, of needs fire. to make a, a dexterity saving throw. <laughs> sure, snakes are dexterous. 21. All right, uh, wow, takes, takes four fire damage. Oh, darn. <laughs> Let's go! And do I get a surprise round because this flame skull just get rushed? <laughs> Let's go! Uh, did no. We ever, did we the flame skull is waiting for you. Oh, uh, okay. I mean... Alright then, initiative? Uh, I mean, yeah. Are you all going out there or is this just going to be a snake versus I'll, flame skull I'll, fight? Oh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna snake uh, versus flame skull <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna wait around the door so I don't like get hit and get bopped. Actually, I'm gonna... Is the, is the uh, wait, flame wait, wait. circle in this? It's it's right Her... next to him, I think. Okay, so I'm just gonna get right behind the snake, and I have my crossbow ready to fire whenever. So I have to have a smaller snake on the screen. Oh my there. goodness! <laughs> it rolled a zero. It didn't roll a zero. Oh, okay. It rolled a four. Wait. Oh, I think I need a refresh. Wait, are we all rolling initiative? Yeah. If you want to get yes. in on this. Can I get uh, on it later? Just go for it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. If you don't want to, if you don't think you want to get involved in this fight, then you don't have to roll. What yeah, I want to do is come over here. I do, but I'm not necessarily <laughs> jumping in. Oh, snake with the nine? Come on, Snakey. Hadrick with a nine? That's a yeah. really good, I'm that's just, really just going to hang out over there. Alright, Snakey has four less hit points. <laughs> uh, Ares, I believe that uh, Pablo here was 
volunteering himself at this very moment to uh, make the character sheets available to everyone. I think that I heard him say that. He's gonna, he's gonna personally <laughs> type it all for everybody. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna put it all in Twitch chat right now. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> no, but I mean, we could we could do that. Take we some could. screenshots and put them somewhere. Yeah, we'll. We should try and add those somewhere. We used to be uh, updating like the story as well. We had a Google Doc where we were keeping track of everything that happened so far. It kind of no one was it updated. Stopped. I mean, we don't really need that. We just need those first the first page of. Uh, the first page of yeah. the character sheets that has like all our stats. Yeah, yeah I think the really um, the original doc actually had the uh, at least had the backgrounds for the characters, if not their stats or anything. Um, but regardless, um, Milo, uh, you go. It's, you're up first if you want to do anything about this. I forgot what their weaknesses were. Let me just think. You didn't know any of their weaknesses before. But I. Did, just used it. Did, I'm just gonna move out in this doorway. I'm gonna gonna tell Kerr, you know, step aside just for like five seconds. I prepare to throw Milo at the flaming skull. <laughs> <laughs> and I will take out my crossbow, uh, longbow, short bow. Which one is it? What is it? I'm gonna take a short bow and I'm gonna just shoot at it and see what. Also, happens. how high off the ground is this skull floating? Can we see past this this giant? But fucking you get sneak snake? attack because my snake's next to it. Oh, oh yeah, uh, plus it's about sneak five attack. feet off the ground. But does that hit first? So, uh, yeah, that'll hit. Uh, um. Uh huh. So, but does the attack. skull have like any any cover mm-hmm. from range attacks right now? No. Well, it, yes, it has cover from the snake. So like, I don't know. I don't remember yeah. the rules for for if it's, it's disadvantage. disadvantage. Disadvantage, but he got twenty six. I think and I think half cover, <laughs> or three quarters is disadvantage. Half cover is like plus five to its AC. Something stupid like that. Okay. I don't know. There's Regardless, that it. hits. <laughs> um, Pete. Uh, I am going to. Wait, how did that hit? What do you mean how? You I rolled, just shot it. What happened? You rolled 26. Yeah, I rolled a 26. Okay. Your arrow uh, flies off. Um, you make a, a decent arc over Kurg and the snake and goes down uh, and kind of hits the skull and, uh, you know, makes like a, a little dent or crack in it. You can't really see that, but, you know. Okay. And then, uh, and then the arrow begins to burn up in the flames of its head. Okay. I'm going to hold my action, and I'm just gonna, you know, with my bonus, I guess I'm gonna be like, "Go, go, Smithers, yeah!" Oh my gosh! <laughs> there we go. That's my turn. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Your action is held. It is Hadrick's turn. I'm gonna hold hold it until uh, it attacks. Okay. Until until the skull attacks or until Smithers yeah, attacks. Yeah, the skull attacks. All right. Yeah, Smithers isn't an it. I don't know what I was thinking. Mr. Mm. Hedrick. Um, I'll just the... prepare my sword and shield, and uh, I'll move up a little bit, but take the dodge action. Oh, okay. So, yeah. The little snake That's went off right. the initiative. Kirk. <laughs> the snake, the snake oh, goes before the... Kirk, because the, the, it went off initiative. It had nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, it yeah. goes before me. Uh, the snake is going to try and constrict around, I, even knowing that it's on fire. I'm going to tell it to, you know. Uh, it's awful. And uh, <laughs> wrap around the guy. So, bam! Up. Oh, that didn't work. Okay. Bam! Okay. Uh, we'll do this then. Then. Mm-hmm. Uh, bam! Ten. Yeah. The, the snake starts to... It wants to try and wrap around the skull, but it's too small, and, and as it does so, it just kind of... Uh, like, the second its tail touches the, the flames of its head, it just kind of recoils rather than coils. Ooh. All right. All right. I believe in you, Kurg, yep. Yep, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to shoot this guy because I think it's... I don't want to see my buddies get hurt. 17. Ooh. Uh, 17 will hit for 14 piercing damage mm-hmm. and then I'll run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 
over here because I did not like getting hit by this thing last time. <laughs> so I run over there. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Nice. Um, the, uh, the flame skull, actually, uh, considering the snake is still within range of this thing, of the, the fire that is still there, um, it should probably take another, make another deck save. save? Yeah. Alright, easy, okay, less easy. <laughs> Smithers! Is, is that wall of fire, like, out of game, legit, like, the wall of fire spell? Uh, no. Okay. Here. Also, did Milo get his sneak attack damage? He did. Yes, he yeah. did. There you go. I drew a little wall of fire for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, well, uh, fire. That is fire. Oh, it's more of a fire. sphere. There you go. Sphere of fire. Uh, I, sphere I probably fire. failed the deck save with a seven. Yeah, you did. Um, you take 11 uh, fire damage. <sighs> oh, not even an issue. <laughs> How strong is the snake? <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, like, summoning two level one creatures is better, but I figured just having one creature was probably a little bit... <laughs> yeah. How much health does it have? You can hover... Uh, you click 25. On <laughs> I mean, each of the squids had 60 each, and this thing only has 60. Oh my really? god. Yeah. It also has, like, shit for defense. Yeah, it's got 12 AC. <laughs> Doesn't the giant constrictor snake have some abilities though? Yeah, like if it if it had grappled that flame skull, it is ridiculous. It's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that that's what makes it good. It's is, so strong. It has a sixteen like uh, grapple, and you have to use an action to like ungrapple. And oh my god, it's dumb. All right, so um, those of you who are looking at the flame skull right now, uh, you notice it start to just sort of vibrate and shake and. <laughs> It's knocked over Ben's camera. <laughs> um, it starts to just sort of shake rapidly, um, and, like, essentially it starts to appear just blurred in a much larger circle um, than it was in. The flames now seem huge around it, um, and it's very hard to see. Um, Tira, it's your turn. Um, I was debating. I was gonna go like put my head in there, and now I'm kind of nervous that there's something over there. Mm. So I guess I'll fight instead. Be a mm. nice teammate. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Buddy. Hey, buddy. Do we decide if I was uh, short enough to go under this? Because you said like it was yeah, elevated. You can. Okay. Okay. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I probably couldn't throw a dagger at it because it's high off the have, ground and I'm under a thing. You have a bonus action to dash, so you can double your movement. Cool. And then but still it's five dash. feet in the air, it's still going to be too tall for well, you me. Can just, no. Well, you can go under without it. Okay, so I'm going to just get there. Yeah. And can I throw daggers or? You can throw daggers. You could also try and run up and stab it. Whatever you so desire. <laughs> no, I'm That's gonna... not necessarily a recommendation. <laughs> I'm, I'm, just, I'm gonna throw like, daggers. But, but you would not have recommended it without a reason. No. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and not go okay. up to it. So okay. I'm gonna throw daggers. Throw dagger. Yeah. And sneak attack. If it hits. Oh, if it I hits. would assume a 19 and a 21 would hit. Yeah. You would assume. <laughs> Those will both hit. Um, your daggers both go... Uh, they kind of clang within the, uh, uh, the eye sockets of this thing and then fall out to the ground uh, with bits of this sparking green flame still on them. Um, Those are a lot of ones. <laughs> Those are a lot of ones. <laughs> Was sneak attack once per round or once per attack? It's once it. uh, per round. Right, okay, so, so only the first. So the one. Okay. Yeah. I think it's better anyway. That's fine. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. You. You. Uh. You do some damage to this flame skull. You. You couldn't even really see it because it was just shaking too too quickly. But um. You can tell that they made contact. You hear the clang. Uh, 
Uh, awesome. <sighs> okay. Well, we're gonna do the thing with Majan again. Thing with him? This thing with Majan. With uh, do I still get sneak attack or nah? Yep. God, you're doing great. Oh, these are high rolls, you guys. Um, oh, you yeah, that's uh, with a not with a twenty-one to hit. Uh, you are able to launch another arrow straight at this thing, uh, even without knowing exactly where it is. Uh, just listening to <clears throat> to the sound of it, uh, of the crackling of flames, um, you can get a sense of its rhythm and uh, lodge an arrow. Uh, By the way, it's it. not disadvantage; it's plus five to their armor class. Yeah, I posted okay. that in the chat okay. along with a link to the ruling. Got it. It's um, it's plus two for half cover and plus five to uh, three quarters cover. Okay. Um. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, that doesn't change anything that happened. Everyone's rolled so high. Um, oh, I forgot to take my action. Where you go? Oops. <laughs> I'll let you do that now if you want. Uh, okay, I'm not going to take my action. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, I'm not going to take my action. <laughs> I don't. You're, I can't. Again, not I can't do. Action. I can't do anything. The hallway's too crowded. If I get hit, the snake will probably disappear. It's it's not that good. If we had a more open area. <laughs> Otherwise, right. I'm gonna like hurt my friends. Basically. You could have gone down and around like I did. It's true. You could you could die at any moment. Um, All right. Well, I will. Then I'll use my first held action to go dash thirty feet, and then I'll use my other to go sixty. There we go. I'm moving. <laughs> Bam! I'm over there now. Cool. That's yeah. what I did with my turns. <laughs> that is be terrible. Says die. I hope you all die. Thanks. I I'm hope you all nice. die too. I'm really rude. Oh, um, Hadwick, it's stuck. your turn. What's oh, Hadwick? TPK Bad from this one flame skull. Please make a dexterity save. Or he's gonna take fire. Oh wait, no, it's radiant. That's right. It's radiant. Yeah. I always think the sacred flame is just fire, but it's not. no. Eighteen. Would... Yeah, you're good. And always... that means no damage. No damage. I always yep. think that uh, that like chill touch. I first thought that that was like cold damage. It's not. It's, not. it's, it's necrotic. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it's weird. Um, snake. Snake. Snickety snake. Snickety snake. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna move just a little bit out of the ways. Fifteen. The hit. Um. On, stick snake. Uh, you're at disadvantage right now because it is uh, moving too quickly, so roll again. Oh, uh, sure. Really, homie? 18! Haha! <laughs> Go, yeah, Snake! Alright, um, that will be enough to hit then. Um, go ahead and roll damage. Uh, so he is uh, 16. Uh, he takes 11 damage, and he has to make a DC uh, acrobatics or athletics. Uh, <laughs> to not get grappled. Uh, okay. Um, being a levitating skull, he uh, does not have either of those. <laughs> Good. Uh, uh, so it's just strength or dex. Yeah. Um, with an eight. Okay, he is currently grappled by the giant snake. Okay. Bam. Uh, and the snake has to make a deck save for the fires that it's in, also. Ah, uh, of course. Uh, let's just do that. Go. 16. Um, a yeah, that'll, uh, that'll make it, um, you take, no, oh, wow, uh, <laughs> that's two fire damage. Oh. Uh. <laughs> And you die. Oh no! <laughs> you can't no, always uh, feed your pet snake little berries. Kurt. That'd be really cute soon. You're a mutant. All baby. right. Um, I'm gonna run back up here. <laughs> and I'm gonna shoot the skull again after I reloaded. Uh, Crappled. Because I really don't feel comfortable that it's still around. Uh, seventeen. Oh my god, that's a lot. Oh wait, no. Okay, it's only thirteen to da damage. 
Oh no, okay. it's at disadvantage. So, oh wait, that works. Oh, okay. Yes. Um, and then I used all my, actually, I used, I think only 25 of my movements. So I'm going to go over here and hide right, right here. <laughs> okay, and sure. I'll, I'll yell over the corner, please make it go away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't seem to, to care about anything you have to say. Um, although he's a bit preoccupied with the snake right now. Um, but you, your crossbow bolt <laughs> does hit this uh, this skull. Um, and you hear the clang of your arrow bouncing off it as it falls to the ground. That was um, a crossbow bolt, sir. It is the flame skull's turn. Um, it can't move. It cannot move. And it can't benefit from any bonuses to its speed. Okay. Boom. Um. All right. Uh, hold on. It panics and does nothing. Next okay. turn. Um. <laughs> <laughs> it wastes its turn. The flame skull, uh, now trapped by the the snake, is going to lash out with uh with a strong attack of a fireball. Oh. Um. Centered right around here, so this will affect both the snake and Tira. Both of them need to make a deck save. No, no, it doesn't affect me. I just <laughs> don't know that. I think now is a great time to remind you of the rogue ability uh, dodge every turn, have damage. It's a good, it's a good ability. It's a good ability. That one. Can I get half the damage, half of the half amounts again? Yeah, I think with that yeah. ability, you take none, is the area effect thing, when you successfully Also, save, I that is a range attack, so you all, um, the snake probably doesn't have this, but if the, if Tyr is shielded from the snake by any means, since it's currently wrapped around the thing, she gets plus, uh, half cover, three quarters cover, total cover? What do you think, Steve, Speedy? It's, I mean, it's a deck save, it's not a, uh... Yeah, no, it's, it's still... It would still, as if it's a ranged attack, which it is, because it's a fireball. Um, I mean, yeah, she makes the deck safe regardless. Oh no, but does she have cover? Uh, oh, does wait. that? It doesn't affect damage taken. Oh, she still gets mind. hit by it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. Um, so the snake fails the deck save, and it is going to take twenty-seven fire damage. Holy shit! Snake's mm -hmm. still up and running. <laughs> Would the flame skull take any damage? No. To do currently not up and running because it doesn't have legs to run on. <laughs> um, you know, he's He's very sensitive about that. And then uh, Tira is going to take um, half of your half. Seven fire damage. Okay. Good stuff. I mean, fireballs are scary spells. So. <laughs> fireballs, fireballs, very strong. Um, we, uh, we, have a, we have the snake to eat that. That's real, that's good enough for me. I got my belly out of the snake. Here it is your turn. Uh, more daggers. Ooh. Um, nice. Yeah, you uh, both of your daggers hit it. Um, the flame skull at this point is uh, is screaming out. Um, you see the the flames around it just bursting out even brighter than before as your uh, your daggers clang off of it. Uh, how many daggers did you have, by the way? I have four now. Now that you've thrown four. Yeah, because I forgot to add them back when I picked them up from last session. Okay. So that's I fine. Have you have four eight daggers now. total usually. Yeah, I went in here with eight daggers. Nice. I had more, but I gave some to uh, a certain other halfling. <laughs> useless. <laughs> useless. I'm useful. Oh, I'm I'm that kidding. has been very helpful. I'm kidding. Surprising. No, you're very strong. That's you're you're a very strong halfling. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. But I would do want my daggers back. <laughs> I'm going to abscond with them, just so you know that. But you can't know that because it's meta. Um, Milo, it is your turn. The skull is now uh, trapped around, uh, wrapped by this. Uh, this giant snake. Well, I'm gonna do the place. usual thing. Okay, if will I be at disadvantage if I use my short bow again? Um, I would say yes, just because it's 
that's a pretty small skull compared to a relatively large snake. Okay, do I have to walk up to it to not get disadvantage, or do I have to go really far away? Can... <laughs> okay, walking up walk would up give you disadvantage because if you're in melee with the. Ah, yes, and you're okay. I, yeah, I would just... almost wonder if you could even see it because it's currently a small skull wrapped up by a snake. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Okay, then I'm gonna walk up. Or I guess right it would be here. like three quarters cover, probably. Okay, by so I'm gonna get a dagger and I'm gonna throw the dagger. Okay. All right. Will that be a disadvantage? <laughs> it's the same thing. It really? Are you the same kidding rules me? Apply. Yeah, it's still in the cover, no matter how close you get to it. No. But how am I supposed to hit it? No, no, the cover is for range. Well, right. If if you're, he's still throwing a dagger. <sighs> okay. Well, if you can walk up through to the it, then a throwing a dagger. Yeah, but it's at... on fire. Yeah, it is kind of on you're, fire. You're <laughs> kind of on fire. <laughs> also, you're you're at full health again, by the way. Because we had a long rest. Oh, am I? What is my thing? Oh, yeah, 28. Okay. Right. How does one get a health bar about their character? It's an option that you can turn on. Probably something I would have to do. Fine, I'm just gonna sh I'm gonna short bow again. It's just, it seems to have worked this it. far. You're welcome. Yay! Okay. Health so does I that hit so Kirk. I can roll a sneak attack or not? I want to see Kirk's health. I have not been able to, and he's always dying, and I like don't know. <laughs> uh, I can't access Kirk's token. I want Gee, to see thanks, him. guys. <laughs> I appreciate that. Kirk, can you see your own health? Bar uh, the... Yes, I can. I, I can, most certainly. Above your token? Yes. It's currently full. Look at that! Woo! Hey, we did it. There we go. Now everyone can see we it. We beat D and D. <laughs> Game over. Okay, guys, go team. I can see your health. All right, so Milo, uh, you fire your short bow at it, but uh, with the snake in the way, you're unable to. It, it just kind of squeezes between them. Can I reroll? No. Oh. Can't I reroll? I have lucky. Uh, that's, that's not how that works. Just for nat ones. <laughs> that's for nat. Just for nat one. That's just for nat ones, right? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So, Sad. Uh, Pete. I'm using my action to dash behind this thing. <laughs> and that's my turn. Okay. Yay. <laughs> um, I, I don't think I'd probably be able to see him, so I'll just stay put. Dodge action if necessary. Okay. Um, Snake. Uh, uh, first, uh, deck save. Make that deck say, boys. The snake has a name. Snakes. Yeah, it's Smithers. How dare you? <laughs> I still want. To it feels. Uh, takes six fire damage. I he goes by many names. I think I autom. <laughs> do I automatically succeed on like grapple attack if he's already grappled? I think I do. And I just get to tighten myself on him. So uh, automatic. Yeah, yeah. That'll be the how that works. Uh, I think. Uh, so he just takes nine damage. Yeah, with that, the the flames around its its head, uh, you know, they burst up even brighter, um, and and then slowly just die down. Uh, the skull is just a skull at this point. Oh, how much damage did the uh, did the snake take for the failing the deck save? Six fire. Six. Oh, he's still good. Okay. He's gonna run out of fire. Okay. He's also gonna drop the skull. <laughs> yeah. Good the smithers. Skull is, the skull is now uh, lying on the ground uselessly. I gotta go look at it. Is it? Yeah. I guess there's no way. Is the fire still here, by the way? Uh, yeah, the fire's still there. I mean, I, actually, no, the fire's gone. So okay. it's a concentration thing, so. You can oh, then any time we took damage, it would. Have, oh. Yeah. Yeah. We made it. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, I'm gonna look at the skull and see if it's if it's if, is it is it dead? <laughs> smack um, it around. It's not moving in any way. It's uh, crunch it. <laughs> it's just a skull. I mean, at this point, you wouldn't be able to tell it apart from any of the other skulls, the various corpses lying around this uh, this mine. Kind of just like try and bash it with my staff and break it. <laughs> or you can have Smithers eat it. I mean, but then once Smithers goes poof poof, he's the skull will probably stay behind. It, it'd just be like coated in saliva. 
I don't know if that's how that works. I think it would also go away. Um, that's definitely. You want to try and smash it? Yeah. Uh, go ahead and roll me uh, just damage for your staff. Just damage. All right. It is. It is magical. A magical staff. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, uh, this. Okay. Um. Yeah, you you smash it, and uh, the skull is in pieces. Oh. Um, or it's it's at least cracked a good bit. Uh, a lo- large pieces of it are still you know connected, but um, bits of it have caved in. Do I sense if it's like it's gonna be good? Is it? I don't know. Uh, you can't uh, you can't tell just by looking at it. Maybe we can just like throw it in the river over there. Can I belly flop on it just to make sure? <laughs> You can. You can. All right. Excuse I want to make me a strength me. check. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to start feeding berries to my pet snake. <laughs> 21. <laughs> yeah, the, the skull uh, and all the cracks in it have uh, have now just been flattened. Um, it's, it's a bunch of shards of skull on the ground now. I approve. Um, then I get up. And I look to the rest of you and say, "All right, well, that's that's all done. Now, where do we go next?" Do you want to like put that skull in the bag of holy? I mean, it's a crushed skull. <laughs> no. And I kick it into this here, over here. Okay. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, it falls down there uh, amongst some rubble. Uh, it'd be pretty hard to recover any of the. Pieces, I just, or all the pieces anyways at this point. I don't want this thing to come back because we're supposed to clear out the mines, you know? That was the goal, right? I, so. I, give, you, I give you a very sad look. Like, you, I know. I, I'm very paranoid. <laughs> it came back the first time and it had like two... It was pinned to the machine with two arrow slots in its eyes, you know? Oh, wait, this is that same skull? Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. It, I think, think anyway. it is. Is there still a skull pinned to the machine? No. There is not. For um, now, we'll trust that that was the only skull, and it somehow magically refined itself back together. Well, then... It could be an effect of the forge. This place might still have some rampant magic going on. Then we should take it out of the mines. It can... Give it to Kaylin to take Cause out the we're supposed mines. to clear out the mm-hmm. we're supposed to clear out the mines for the, so it could be used again. Yeah, if there's Kaylin a little fiery a, skull, I, I hope he was not there for any of that. <laughs> I'm gonna take it with me. Okay. <laughs> it's it's down there. Are you climbing down there to go I'm pick gonna, up the pieces? Like, I'll have I'll have a little snakey. You know, give me a rope down. You you're cutting out a ton. That's a great face to stop on though. I mean, every face of fours is a great face. <laughs> True. I don't even see a face, it's just a black screen for me. Oh, that's not good. No. Baby, come back. Alright, well, I'm taking the skull. You can blame it all on Ben. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, you're doing the thing I did last week. Oh, no, none of us can have Oh, no, everyone's faces are in the wrong order. Oh, no. Oh, no, you broke it. No. I didn't mean to. Ben, why'd you break it? Why'd you do that? You broke. Right, I'm, I'm, I'm taking the skull. I expanded. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're you're doing. I'm what? Ishman now. I'll bring the skull with me. <laughs> you wish. Uh, the skull is at this point. It was shattered and. Well, I'm taking. I'm taking like half the pieces. <laughs> okay, you take as many pieces as you can find. There Just we go. Just scatter them around like the entire mine. Like an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I just want to—I um, want to throw it out so like the river carries it away. You know, what river. <laughs> this is like a river. Well, it looks there's like a tiny bleeding. creek. There was. In the cave. There, yeah. oh, okay, that one, yeah. Also, wasn't there like some sort of thing being stored here that everyone was looking for? The Dang. forge. We'll go back for that. Well, like remember <laughs> they were like they were saying they were searching for something in that area. Oh. Did yeah. Did actually look at this giant machine and try to determine anything about it? I mean, it's none of us have. It looks like. It's a water thing. It's a water mill kind of thing, right? Um, yeah, so it's, it appears to be a water mill. Um, the, the path running through it is like a 
a man-carved uh, kind of canal that water r- must have run through at some point, but it is entirely dry. Um, the the wheel itself appears to be through a series of mechanisms attached to this uh, this this large block part here. That is uh, what seems to be a furnace. All right. Well, um, it's kind of like uh, you know those those things that you use with like fire like fireplace. I forget what they're called, but it's like an accordion thing, and you blow smoke from them. A blower. Oh yes, a chimney accordion. Yeah, yeah, the thing, the thing, the chimney accordion. The chimney accordion. <laughs> the chimney accordion. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> Often found outside of uh, you know pizza places or something. <laughs> Um, it's really good for, you know, the, the flame grilled pizza or whatever. Um, but yeah, so, so this water reel is essentially, uh, it looks like turning that would basically, this big part here would also just go up and down, um, which would, uh, feed to the flames of this furnace. Well, that's impressive. Yeah. Good job, of Dwarven Engineering. Love yeah. Yeah. I want to real sneaky, like, see what's over here. I'm going to walk on to Smithers, Smithers and ride on this. Like. All right, roll stealth. Me okay. too. Are you going to be sneaky with me? Of course. I start <laughs> slithering like Smithers. <laughs> <laughs> sneaky like a snake. <laughs> Murder. I don't. I stay where I am. <gasps> All right, hold on. I just reveal this to you. I go and I retrieve Kaelin. Probably you're gonna be Kaelin again. Oh, sure. It's, yeah. It seems like she's not really feeling well right now. Something. Why don't you watch the cart with the skull? Half. Thanks. I barricade the doors. Don't open for anyone. Sure. Um. So looking into this room, uh, it appears to be mostly empty. Um. So it's, where I'm standing, caverns, I can't. Uh, you can see that actually. Yeah, I'm just clear that okay. out. Um, the the room itself, the floors are unastonishing. It looks like they're not really carved uh, manually like some of the other ones that you've been in. Um, but there is this uh, right here. There appears to be a room of some kind. Do you have dark vision, by the way, or a torch? No. <laughs> okay. um, so it's really hard for you to see all of this. Um, it's it's fairly dark in here, but um, not being able to see anything actually makes it all the more obvious that there is a light coming from the ceiling. As you look up uh, at at the ceiling above you, you you have to stop for a moment because it appears to be the night sky, um, the glimmering of stars and uh, dark blue. After looking closer, and just based on what you uh, realize must be true, as you're in a cave, um, you realize that it is actually, the ceiling is filled with some sort of crystal um, that produces light. Okay. Specks of it throughout. Um, Other than that, you see this room right here, uh, and... Even though you're not like a magic user at all, are you? No. Despite I like that, stabby stabby. Yeah. Despite that, you can sense the faint aura of magic coming from this room. Okay. Can I go back? <laughs> yeah, you can do that. Um, what did you see, Tia? It looks like there are some really shiny stones things in this ceiling. There's also might be some rooms over there that we might want to go together to go look. There's also a staircase. That, that's all that I can really see. Oh, let's handle the doors then. And I step step over here to this door as okay. I try to wave everyone to follow. Um, hold on. Oh, since, you, um, since you walk in, you can actually see mm. a little bit more than she was able to. So let me just reveal... Some more to you. Um, uh, you can see that going down this cave, it actually leads into another room. There's stairs and a, a bit of a drop. Um, but over here, you can see what appears to be another one of these rooms. 
Um, the ceilings in this in this room are, are very high, like much higher than the other ones. So all of these buildings here, or these rooms, uh, actually have roofs of their own within them. Ooh. Which is uh, which is pretty u unique. You haven't seen anything like this in a cave before. Um, they're they're kind of like their own little houses or buildings within. Um, that said, are you still going to try and open this door? I, I look to the rest of you and I say, I'd rather we cover this area up here before we go down there. I'd rather have something not catch us by surprise. Mm -hmm. um, you all, you all sense this faint aura of magic as you enter this room as well, which grows stronger as you approach the door. And I looked over the rest of you. I'm gonna open it. Open it. Uh, okay. <laughs> I open the door, and I ready myself with my bident for whatever happens. <laughs> I also ready myself. Just do it. Okay. You open the door, and you see a well-worn workshop. Um, looks tattered, but covered with dust, like it's been undisturbed for a very long time. Um, in the center, you see what appears to be a, uh, a, um, what's the word? A brazier, uh, ah. with a bright green flame emanating from it. Uh, you can all sense this magic, waves of it rushing towards you. Skagath, thank you for that host with 12 viewers. What is up? I'm gonna get a cast for Skagath, please. Awesome, dude. Um... <laughs> This this bright green light washes over you with its waves of magic. You hear the flickering of the flame. Um, and all of you uh, hear within your heads. Hello. In the center of the room, you see also this... Uh, this rather large creature. Uh, I'm just gonna make it really big for a second so it's uh, obvious for everyone on the screen. Oh! Oh, nice. That's hideous. Uh, yeah. My eyes. It's this levitating green orb <laughs> with a single eye and a mouth of ragged teeth um, and tentacles, four of them coming off of its uh, on tendrils with eyes on each of them. Uh, all of their eyes, or each of its eyes, are fixed on a different one of you that it can see. Um, and uh, all of you within your heads, without seeing its mouth move in any way, you hear this low. Oh. Hello there. I don't Sorry, like it. Like, to the rest of you, I'm like, you see this, right? Do I know anything about these kinds of creatures? You're only Arcana. I probably don't. Then. It's probably Ooh. another bugbear or something. Oh yes, of course. <laughs> I might. Uh, with an eleven, um, you can. Do I know a name of a creature? Maybe nothing about it. But... It's not a bugbear. Maybe <laughs> more. Of it. That's clear. <laughs> You, You're you not don't blind. Know, um, <laughs> I was thinking that bugbear or something was something else earlier. You don't know what it's called, um, but you can tell based off of the voice within your head that it is some sort of monster using telepathy, um, and that it, um, knowing a little bit about the magic that exists here, you know that it is likely there. Uh, as sort of a guardian of some kind. Um, Kurg would like to just sort of lean in and just point to this room right here and uh, he says, we're just doing a, a uh, checkup. Is there anybody in that room that shouldn't be in there? <laughs> That's just your annual inspection. No one in that room. Hmm. 
Well, um... Would I hear that? Yes, you all hear this from within your heads. It's not... It's in no way coming from its mouth. Its mouth doesn't move as it makes these noises. This is all just ringing through your head. Sounds of it's all around you. What's it smell like? I mean, it I looks like dead. Oh, no, it had it smell like flesh. Um, like decaying flesh. No, it doesn't smell like flesh. The, the main smell that you can tell in this room is that of the dust. Uh, you know, the musty uh, remains of a workshop that is, you know, well uh, in disrepair. Can I go try to open this door? <laughs> Another beholder! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Hi there! Just checking. Close door. <laughs> um, yeah, you can go ahead and uh, open that door one second. Real sneaky, like, like I don't want to just fling it open. I want to, like, peek in. <laughs> Is there someone um, friendly up there? Friendly? Marco. Okay, so actually, Marco. um, that that door uh is scorched and cracked. Um, you can't tables. you can't completely tell what happened to it, but it seems that it's been heavily damaged. Uh, you could try to force it open, but it would require some strength. I'll pass. Probably hurt myself trying to open it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, I guess. Um, <laughs> Close the door and leave. <laughs> Just um, ignore it. So, who are you? Um, I, I figure it's best that we uh, get to know each other since we're on speaking terms. It's a dating simulator now. <laughs> This is like the worst catfish in the world. <laughs> I am the one tasked with being the forge of spells. Mm, lovely. Protecting it from what exactly? From anyone who not meant to use it. So what you're saying is if I do not intend to use it, it needs no protection from me? If you are not here for the forge, then you have no reason to be here at all. I didn't say I wasn't here for the forge, I just said I... Let's let's be clear with him. The reason we've arrived here is because there were unsettling folks using this place as a headquarters of such. Now we've disposed of uh, the the kingpin, so to speak. We're just making our rounds, making sure there's no others uh, doing unsavory things inside this place. Everything here is in order, as always. Have you left this room at all to check on that? You are the Guardian. It is my job to defend and watch here. Under whose orders? Who summoned you to do this? Under the orders of the dwarves and the wizards who work here. Who work here? How long ago was this? Dwarves and the wizards, they have always worked here. Since I have been employed under them, at least. You're aware That's... that there are no dwarves or wizards in this place, yes? The dwarves will return to use this mine. It is theirs. 
they would not leave it. Uh, how old? Bound by their orders. How old were some of the corpses that we found in the gathering hall? Like where they were eating, obviously. They are very old. Um, most of them were were fairly either entirely decayed. Some of them were, in fact, skeletons already, um, and many were. I, I, the the um, the raids were, you know, they were breaking off the bones and eating the marrow. Like there wasn't much meat on them left. The undead that we've been fighting, have they just been wraiths, or have some of them been, like, zombies? Um, or actually, sorry, it was not wraiths, it was, um, it was ghouls. Either way. But, um, were, there were some zombies there as well, yes. Were they dwarven zombies? Um, there were some dwarven, some orcish. But mostly those two. I don't tell this to the big scary bull. <laughs> so, you're the guardian. Do you have a name? I kind do not need names. Okay. We only okay. need tasks. <clears throat> Speedy, so last week, you know, I, I pooped out a little bit and Ayami gave me a natural 20. And I, you know, I didn't get to use it because of that. Should, would that carry over to this week? Um, sure. Uh, okay. I'll say you Can, can I use the natural 20 for deception? Uh, yeah. You know what are you going to say to him? I'll say what, I, mean, I can hear his voice. Yeah, I can hear his voice. I'm yeah. just going to walk up and be like, uh, hey there. Um, I'm, I'm the one who summoned you. I'm the owner of the, the mines. You know, you can go home. You're, you're good. Job's done. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you can go home now. That's okay. He just has like, like a family that's been waiting it's for so, him. For it's like... so good that even Kirk is like, you're so old! <laughs> How do you keep such a youthful uh, figure? With, with a nat 20, uh, he says, My job here is done. Yep. Yep, you're good. I back up a little bit. I don't like this is going. <laughs> I like how the snake really is nice there working. too. Uh, it's really nice working. As I back up, I am going you can, to you can cast. Uh, I. My task is done. I cast warning blot on Kirk. Uh, okay. I return to the ethereal plane. Oh, all right then. Where do was He's gone. <laughs> oh, I was so scared for nothing. I want to go in here and I want to try the store. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> That's it. That's it. It worked. <laughs> you talked him out of it. He believed you. Okay. Good. Job's done. I thought you were going to go a very different direction. No, I, was thought so job. Too. I, really I thought you were going to go like, my job is done. I am free to do as I wish. I no. didn't think about that. <laughs> I did not think about that. That would have been lovely. I'm, I'm um, glad that was not how that ended up. And now I look like a genius. Either way, Craig, you now have a couple of bonuses for an hour. All right. Um. So in the northern room, you see... It looks to be like a separate workspace. Um, there are, you know, a few more tables here and tools, but almost everything in this room is destroyed. The table's smashed uh, and spread across the floor. It's mostly just debris within. I'm searching the southern. So nothing yeah. of importance, or does it look like anything that would be like searchable? Dude, can I find like some duct tape to fix my Biden? <laughs> duct tape does not last this long, nor does it exist in this world. <laughs> does a duct tape type? Wait, can we roll for duct tape? No. Can we roll for duct tape? No, you can't. <laughs> Don't worry, Smithers brought some with him. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Come on. Yeah, it, with a with a grunt, I go. Oh, oh, right. I'll go down here. Um. There, there wasn't any duct tape in there. I, I will say there are a bunch of tools that are used for making weapons and. Uh, oh, is this the forge? <laughs> no, it is. No, it is. 
It is a brazier that is emanating a green magical light. Can we arcana that? It's a magic light? You can uh, you can roll me arcana or history. Say either. While they do that, I already said I was moving. <laughs> so I'm going to check out this door. Did people walk in here? <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah, Haley walked in there, and that's where she was searching around. Yeah. Um, you haven't, you haven't really searched this other room, though. No, that was about to, but they were checking the fire, so I wasn't asking yet. Okay, yeah. If if you want to roll me the arcana uh, or history for that, you can do that. Can I search the room while they're doing that? Yes. Um, so, on the work table in the southeast corner of the room, um, you see two items that... Uh, that stand out to you. Um, the only really fully crafted uh, tools within. Um, you see a mace, um, which appears to be immaculately kept despite the conditions around it, no dust even fallen on it. Um, and you see a, uh, a steel breastplate with a gold dragon emblazoned upon the front of it. That's cool. Neat. Dibs, 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 you dibs, left. Dibs. You can't have it. Um, and sorry, I the have mace, a friend on the inside. The head of the mace is shaped like a sunburst, and it's made of solid brass. Um, and uh, are you picking this up? No. Okay. I'm just looking. Okay. What's out here? Do you point it out to us, or are you just looking and passing by? Sure, I'll tell you all about that. Okay. There's cool armor and a mace over there. Go look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she distracts them so she can check out the new stuff. <laughs> yeah. What's on the stairwell? <laughs> uh, nothing. Oh. <laughs> anyone, it's my turn. Anyone want a mace? Um... Does anyone want a mace? I'm not there. So, uh, I, said, I said, if you give five dollars, I can. I'll. I'll let you do something like that. <laughs> Is there not okay, a substance that's um, like duct tape in this universe? No, <laughs> quite. Maybe you could like weld it with be the sticky fire. spells. <laughs> or elixirs of stickiness. Mm -hmm. You know, there's. I mean, you're in a workshop where weapons are made. You could find something. <laughs> okay. Theoretically. Engineers are awesome. Maybe. I'm gonna head down here with him then. No. Um, did anyone, anyone uh, is anyone rolling the arcana uh, history to tell what's in the the brazier? I mean, you checked out that room. Okay, I'm out this is room. it history oh, or oh. There you go. Either one. It, it, okay, it's is that fine. The sixteen work. Wait. <laughs> with a sixteen in <laughs> arcana, uh, you can tell that the magic aura coming off it is very strong, and despite the fact that you know nothing about magic, you are fairly certain that this is, in fact, the Forge of Spells. It, it appears to have... It appears to be weak, um, to have died down a great bit. Uh, you can tell that it was once much stronger, but... Uh, I'm knowledgeable! <laughs> <laughs> this does seem to be the Forge of Spells. Here's your forge that you seek. Are you joking? It, it's that's literally it. Yeah, it's a oh. bit underwhelming to be honest. Uh, oh. it, it appears to be a, it's smaller than you would have expected. It's probably it, it seems to have died it's not down. The size is how you use it. <laughs> By could, the way. I, <laughs> could I could I fix my bident with this? Um, Are you proficient with blacksmith tools? I I I mean he's had lots of odd jobs. Maybe he kind of knows um, how to. You could certainly try. Um, also, uh, you missed... They found uh, two things in the room. Um, they found a, a mace. And then um, a shield a really badass-looking mace with a sunburst-shaped uh, head with uh, made of solid brass and a breastplate with a gold dragon in the design. Ooh. Do, you want the, do you want the mace, Kirk? I, I, mean. I like the look of that. It was plate mail, right? Um, yeah. Well, it's... Yeah. This is what happens when you leave the group. 
I know, I got a guy on the inside who we've talked about magical items in character. Give, give me that lovely set of armor, please. I think you're gonna, you might want to talk to Hadrick about that too. Mm. You might also want it. Let's first come, first talk, serve is how I see this. Oh, you're not even part of the group. How are this? How about you're not this? even there. Well, let me. Let I me am. See I'm your... right there. No, no, wait, no. no I'm in Hadrick. <laughs> is there any uh, notes that are around? Any like uh, instruction manual for the forge? Is there an, ex- Just an instruction a manual? On the instruction wall manual that says this is how you do step by step how to forge. Um, looking around, there are like a few pieces of paper scattered about, like scrolls and stuff, but they seem mostly decayed to the point where it, they're very hard to read. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh well, and I try to like, I want to like somehow fuse my my poor broken piece trident onto the broken tip and try to like use the, this dinky little brazier to help make my trident better and fix it. I'm like, maybe it'll, it's, it's good at fixing things. Maybe that's what it works. <laughs> um, it? So, it's how, a family how exactly family. are you doing this? Cause it is still a fire. How are you attaching this to your, your Biden to make it? Uh, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm assuming this this uh, workshop has tools. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get some forceps and uh, some uh, uh, some clamps. I'm going to clamp the trident to one of the stools in here. I'm going to make sure it's at a good height. And I'm going to uh, clamp and use the forceps and tongs to sort of like uh, attach the trident tip that broke off onto where it goes. And I'm going to hold it right above the uh, brazier flame and just sort of like try to like heat it up so that they'll, they'll like hopefully like almost melt together. Uh, and once it's like a little melted together, I'll like sort of squish them together and then pull them out and just try to see if they'll hold. And then I'll do it again and if that works. I can nice. help you like hold the end of the trident while you're working on the actual like front of it if you want. Well, thanks, buddy. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can definitely try to do that. Um, what should you roll for that? Um, Mm. Mm. I'll go ahead and say that's just a straight strength check. Because that's generally what, uh, blacksmith tools requires a strength. Okay. With an advantage because of an... Okay, it doesn't matter. You do have a nat 20, uh, also. I mean, ooh... Oh man, the nat twenty would be. You also rolled a twenty. I also rolled a twenty. Oh, you rolled a twenty. Okay, you already rolled. Yes. Um, yeah. Not the, natural though. That's fine. Um, the uh, the the spike reattaches to the, the trident. Um, you see it fuse and uh, just melt and reattach as. Uh, you would think that some of the the steel might drip off or something, uh, maybe become warped, but it's perfectly reattached, and your your trident has never looked better. In Woo! fact, as you pull your trident away from the flames, you can still sense an aura of magic about it. Woo! You have a plus one trident now. Oh, look at that! Oh, uh, it's even oh. Oh, I can't wait to show Grandma. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, blowy. I just, I just cool. hold it very dearly in my my thick dragon hands. So I'm just like, oh, thank you, thank you, Pete. It's, oh, <coughs> <coughs> I show Kayla. I'm like, Kayla, look, it's all better. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla says, "I'm happy for you, Kurg." Oh. Now, if only my bows would stop breaking. <laughs> <laughs> Just toss it can't, in. <laughs> can't put that in a fur- in a furnace. <laughs> uh, sad but true. <laughs> Mister, Mister Hadrick, and I come out here, and I I come down here. I guess I'm like, oh, look what I've got, and I uh, I show you my trident. And I also brought my that does not belong to me. Uh the plate with the dragon on it. Um, yeah, uh, so what's going Not on like with, the, a plate with those with the things? Um, 
It's a plate. It's, <laughs> it's a, just a plate. <laughs> it's a dinner uh, plate. You've got the breastplate right now. What happened to the mace? Did anyone take that? Oh, I I have it. But does anyone want it? I'll I'll walk over with him and be like, it's hey, like I have no interest. You want in, the mace? In character, I mean, out of character, I I can't really use it because I have a great weapon master feat. So I gotcha. So does Hedrick. And I can't Can... use it because I've got the staff feet. So. I have so many weapons right now. I have two hand axes, a crossbow, and Maybe my trident. What to do. Ignore that. Ignore those lines. <laughs> Here's Maybe. what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I got it. I have the solution. We'll put it on top of my trident <laughs> in the middle, and we'll Perfect. use them together. <laughs> That is a great weapon, if I've ever heard of one. <laughs> maybe, maybe yeah, you could get, maybe exactly. we could give Lindsay the mace, and then she can give you the sword, the great sword. That's magic. Ooh, that yeah. sounds lovely. The great I mean, sword that's really, magic. What are you talking yeah. about? We got that. We got that with you. It was in that when everyone was hiding. They they just found a random sword. Well, that sounds lovely. Oh well, I mean. <laughs> Thanks for having no objections at all, Kaylin. <laughs> <laughs> Kaylin uh, gladly accepts the mace. That is, oh, that is not a great weapon. Listen, I, I don't need it right now. You keep a hold on it. I tell her. And then I come, come down here to have it. And I go, Swords hey. Done no, dummy no good. Oh. All right. Well, let's open this door and... What did I find in this room that I was totally already inside? God. You're That's already right. inside. <laughs> that yeah, he's been down there. Doing all the stuff with the forging and checking out the the brazier. Like that was the whole point of. Oh, you weren't here for the armor. No, I was checking that room. Mm hmm. Sure. Oh, imagine if you turned that brazier into a into a baking oven. Okay. Um. So I guess. If everyone else wants to back off while Hadrick can do this on his own, because sure. you were all Maybe! I wanted to still be in here. I would have sent the snake with him, at least. But you um, were helping me. Yeah, I know. I, could, I can't command it, but the snake follows him <laughs> from here. Hadrick. I'm okay with that. Is that okay? Because I, I wanted to say that, actually. Wait, Hadrick, step back out of the room for a second. Uh oh. So you oh, can no. put a big old monster in there? Because it's on fire. It's just as you as you enter the room, rising from the ground like smoke and ash, it's is what appears to be some sort of dark wizard. As he uh. rises, you hear a voice booming but raspy. Your presence is offensive to me. Your life forfeit. I cast silence on him. My <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh man, he's a wizard too. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. Just immediately. And also, like, just all his inner dialogue that was going to be like so, like, oh. Like a cinch. Um, no. um, Guess we'll never know. <laughs> he goes. Completely silent as you cast this uh, this spell, um, and uh, having been even more offended by you than he already was, he's going to retaliate. He can't start... cast any spells with verbal components. Keep that in mind. Right. Well, I'm going to need everyone to roll some initiative. I mean, we would have. But we're all the way over there. Yep. We don't know this is happening. You bet. Okay, yeah, fine. You don't have to roll initiative. <laughs> oh, okay then. <laughs> there we go. Snake has snake has a twenty-one. Oh wait, the snake can't do anything unless he's attacked first, because I'm not there. Uh, because I mean, in the meantime, I would have been with Kirk. Um. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I guess. Um. Now your snake could see this dude and run back to report to you. I can't understand snake. No, but I mean, if it comes in as it only follows my orders, and that's like it. It doesn't have any like brain power itself. Okay. So when I said follow you, that's all it's doing. So. Um, but all. But if it gets attacked, it can fight in self defense. This this wizard like. Uh, man in front of you. Um, to call him a wizard might be 
a bit of a stretch as he doesn't seem to have many facial features. They seem to have faded away, uh, leaving behind what what is a emaciated and darkened skull behind um, with glowing yellow eyes. Um, though you cannot hear anything that he is saying, his mouth continues to move. Um, and his eyes glow brighter. I just do that nodding thing when you, like, aren't really listening to somebody, but you're, like, trying to make them think. I'm like... <laughs> um... He is going to... Just... Um... Why is the whole ears out? He's going to... Immediately just walk... Or not even walk, almost glide across the ground towards you, and then through you. Spooky. And then, no longer silenced as he's out of that radius. It's a twenty-foot radius. Oh, so you're also within that radius. You've silenced yeah. yourself. Yep. You you are muted also. Oh wait, <laughs> if if you did that. Is that intentional? If you do that. Yeah, it would be a twenty-foot radius. That would that would hit everything. Yeah, I actually cast it from myself, so it would take up the room and then the given surroundings around me. He doesn't know where the radius is, by the way. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. He he'll continue. He has no to... idea where it's emanating from. Um. He, regardless, he he goes right behind you. Um. And you see his mouth open wide. Um. I guess you get a chance to attack first, though. Uh, only if he removes himself from my range. Well, no, uh, just because of turn order. Okay. Um... Well, I suppose Snake actually gets to attack first. He okay. he won't attack unless he's attacked first. That's how the spell works. Okay. No or, unless, or unless I give him orders. And since I'm busy over here... Uh... Exactly. I didn't want to move anyway. <laughs> I'm showing up my trident. Because it's not a bite it anymore. <laughs> so, uh, what are you doing, Hatter? I am going to swing at him. <laughs> Nat oh! 20. Nat 20, nice. Dead. Right? Um, it's as dead. he, as he goes it through It is a magical you, weapon. Okay. Um, okay. as he goes through you, um, you, you, like, ready your sword <laughs> and just, like, you don't even have to move it more than an inch to go through him as he becomes corporeal again on the other side. Um, the sword slashing through him. And um, I'll swing again. If he doesn't fall. He doesn't. Okay, I swing again. Uh, 14 to hit. Uh, that unfortunately will not. Okay. Um, all right. Now, uh, on his turn, he's going to, with the sword still within him, walk. And that's I'm grabbing the snake. Damn it. Um, <laughs> he's going to again walk through you as you feel a chill down your spine, uh, and get behind you. <sighs> Um, and he's just going to reach out and touch you on the shoulder, uh, and you have to make a DC, you have to make a, a con save. Oh, did he walk away from the snake? Does the snake get to, oh, it, it would not attack, he didn't, he didn't attack him. Right. Um, he con doesn't save. have to say anything for whatever spell he's casting? Nope. Okay, con save? Yeah. Is it con? Yes. 15. Okay, um... So, um... Also, did he just stopped like, right on the other side of me, or did he go through through? He stopped okay. right on the other side of you. Okay. So I saw he was moved a little bit further a second ago. Yeah. Alright. Uh, yeah. 15 con save. Um, with a 15, you make the con save, um, but you're going to take... 25 necrotic damage. Oh, good deal. 
I know I, I don't go to 25. I take 25. What's 34 minus 25? Nine. 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 And then I. You feel your life being drained from you as his hand, at, just from your shoulder, it, it it almost decays at his touch. I let out a painful scream. And we Everyone can't hear it because hears. you're inside. No. I failed my my my. Oh, uh, for concentration. concentration. Oh, okay. You oh, made a, yeah. a second one for concentration. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, fine. sure. So everyone now has heard you scream. Pete, how are you going to react to this scream? Hey, Hendrick, I, we this found scene? this. We found this like armor in this maze. This oh, great armor cool. that would have protect you from necrotic damage. Yeah. <laughs> oh wait. Uh, <laughs> Hedrick, you're not looking too well. Is, is everything okay? I can't see the snake from here. I'm just gonna walk on up. Actually, I'll run up because he screamed. Uh, is that's how he would react to somebody screaming and just be like, "Hey, is everything okay?" Well, I, yes, yeah, that's okay? exactly, exactly how he would react. <laughs> snake, help him. Pull. Yeah, there you go. All right, so Snake will now help me with whatever I want. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which right, I want Kurt, to fucking attack. It's your turn. You've also just heard this blood-curdling scream. Very girly, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on, buddy. And I'm going to start running. Is it because of my half-elf? Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to... Your class echo. I can, I can okay. only get right here. Um, I, I don't see what's happening, so... I'm gonna action surge to run an extra. Oh no, I can dash. You can dash. You can dash yeah. Okay, so another thirty feet. I'm gonna hop down. This I don't take. I don't care about taking the stairs. And I hop down right here. Do I have line of sight with this right here? Um. Yeah, from there you can have line of sight. Okay, I'm going to throw my trident. <laughs> oh. And I'm going to use my natural twenty. <laughs> Nice. Okay, okay, so I'm just gonna roll this to get the first bit of damage. Okay, and then I'm gonna roll a D8, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. And it gets plus one damage for the. Did you have that already for the beating enchanted? Uh, no, I don't. I don't have that. So that's eleven in total. Yeah. Nice. Your uh, for your trident. Uh, you know pierces into this uh, this wraith uh, as you um, as you throw it and you see uh, it, it sort of recoil and look back at you uh, and just be like there are more the fools and I, and I and with like lightning crackling in my jaws. I go, Hedrick, get back. And that's my turn. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I use my action surge uh, to do that throw, just letting you know. Yeah. That was action economy okay. <laughs> totally fine. Uh, Tira. Oh, so you would have come outside? Well, not uh, for the first turn was why he didn't let you do it before. Okay. Yeah, now you've heard the screams and know that something's going on. Okay. I'm gonna go about right there. This is scary. This is scary. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I was like, I don't think I can really see him to throw anything. Oh, you can see him. Can These I? doors are open, so you can you have line of sight. Are they open inside? I guess. Yeah. Doors. I don't know. I just figured there was a wall there, so but okay. Huh. Um. Daggers. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> Ooh. Don't kill Hedrick, please. <laughs> we need him. <laughs> he has a really low health too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if, if, anything, you, if anything, I would say reroll the attack and see if it hit me. Oh no, I do have. Um, oh yeah, lucky. lucky. Yeah, lucky. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Roll another one. Better. <laughs> better. <laughs> that too. Right. It doesn't hit, it's, but it's better. <laughs> um, yeah. The first, your your second throw of a dagger. The first one goes 
terribly far wide. It goes all the way into the the room. Um, but the uh, the second one will find uh, uh, find gumption or whatever it may be in gumption. this uh, <laughs> in this wraith and uh, slash along his uh, leg. Okay, I'll take that. Snick. <laughs> Snake, 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 snake. Um, snake was told to help me, so Snake would snake help me. Snake is going to pull Hedrick away from the thing, or you just grapple him so he can't take an attack of opportunity when I move. Well, it, no, if if the snake moves you, you don't get attack of opportunity. The no, snake no, will no. take the attack of opportunity. No, if, I'm saying if, if if the snake grapples him, then when I move away. The uh, asshole snake was told to help you, so Snake is going to help you. Okay, help me, Snake. He's okay. gonna, he's just gonna, he's gonna pull you away from the guy, so you don't get an attack of opportunity. Patrick, uh, the snake is pulling you away. Uh, this giant snake is there. pulling you away. You were, you're totally fine with that. You're not gonna try and resist it in any way. I knew he was there, and I heard his master scream, "Help, Patrick!" So he's just gonna just sort of push him aside and just try and block the view, I guess. <laughs> There you go. Give a big old hiss. Yeah, fuck you. Okay. There you go. Snick, snick. Suck it, dick. Snick, snick. <laughs> um, Patrick, it is your turn now. Or you I'm run right back up to the wraith. I'm going to heal like a motherfucker. <laughs> Cure wounds at second level. On myself. Yeah. That was a really, really poor first roll. Oh, oh wow. Restore. Yeah. 14. You get 14. Mm-hmm. Kai. That was a really bad first roll. Oh, yeah. So it's uh, 23. And then I have other things. I am going to. I did the wrong spell. Mm-hmm. Uh, what should I do? What can you do? You've just used your action to cure wounds. I have a few cool spells that are bonus actions. Okay. Um, but I won't do it. I will healing word myself at first level. For five more. Yay, okay. health! I feel a little bit better. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I will feel back up better. a little bit more because I can and I can always move back in. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> Get chicken. Get chicken. Okay, I'm dead. Um, okay. Uh,. The wraith is going to uh, just grab at the snake right in front of it. Um, the 21 to hit. Of course it hits. Uh, it's got 12 AC. 11 necrotic and a con save. Okay. Snake is not good at con saves. Oh No, no it's not. I mean, <laughs> that one doesn't like do anything. The good news is that... How, mu- not- tell me, how much health did the snake have left? It had 30. You had 30 health left still? Yeah, well, I gave it a bunch of berries. All right. Um, the good news is that nat 1s and nat 20s don't automatically effect. fail or save on a con- on a ability save. Okay, well, or else the, players the, the snake takes 11 necrotic damage, and its max HP is reduced by 11. Oh. Oh. Well. Me, right? um, for, for the duration, I'm sure, of how long it's summoned. Well, no, there's creatures that can lower your shit. In yeah, I got gotcha. you. Forever. Could end me forever. There's also ones that can steal experience from you. Oh, I, what? Have, heard, yeah, I have heard of those. Yeah. Uh, my load is your turn. Ben. ben oh, ben, it's my ben. turn? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just too distracted by this pupper picture that I completely What are you doing okay. looking at pupper pictures? Because I'm wait, just, wait, 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 I mean, we're facing the harsh reality of rage. I'm just, 
Well, I'm gonna shoot the wraith then, and then I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna ease my depression with the puppers. You know, sometimes you just need to take a pupper break. Yeah, can I shoot or pup, will pup that pass. be a dis? A pup uh, pup pass. <laughs> from there, can, there would be no it. blocking. Yeah. yeah. And you would have sneak attack. You would have snake well, attack. Wait, snake so, no, attack. so no disadvantage <laughs> for some arbitrary reasons. Uh, uh, here, just move it's her not over. Here you go. Uh, half cover. Yeah. Half cover. Oh, okay. Most well, so, no. Why is she going there? I was about to move there. Here, no, move. Okay, there Kaylin, you go. Kaylin, move oh, out. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Donate twenty-five dollars. It says celebrate Not good times. Come on, that twenty's for everyone. Yay! Hey. Back up to three. Wait, does my nat 20 now apply to this roll, or can I save it? You can save it. Okay, well, I want to shoot from here. Will it still be half cover from this no, angle? No, there would be no cover. So it's no cover from this snake. angle. Yeah, you're good. You're upstairs right now. Okay, good. Okay, let's do this shit. Ish. Let's do this ish. What? Nothing. No! Oh! Roll... Uh, 16 nice. will hit for 6 piercing damage. You can roll a sneak attack if you want. Sneak attack. So Delicious. Wait, six damage. plus six, 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 though. That was only if you got the nat twenty, which you did. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. It was six, six, six again. That right? is that is devilish, though. <laughs> that's sure. that's that was. I'm going to hell. <laughs> oh. That's very reminiscent of when Lindsay's bow broke the first time. <laughs> um. Yeah, you are able to uh, to fire an arrow uh, and hit this Bolt. wraith, which just turns at you, and just like. Rah! All these fools trying to steal. I I, I wave and I smile. I wave. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna try out my new quarter staff because I want to, and I'll get right in the line of fire. Actually, you know what? I will. I will run up. I'm only gonna give it one little whack. Uh, right, th right there. Good. Uh, so I'm gonna give it a whack. Boop, with, and like be like BAM Ooh Take uh, that. He takes that and then I'm gonna turn into I'm and I'm gonna say I'm going Bork. I'm gonna turn into a big old dire wolf. <laughs> I'm going I'm now I'm now a pupper. He he went into maximum bork drive. Maximum, maximum bork. bork drive. Um okay, uh yeah, you do that. There we go. You are a giant pupper. I'm a giant. Wraith does not care. Kirk. He is not intimidated. The wraith is a cat you. person. Um, <laughs> dang it, we're still level five, aren't we? Yeah, Ooh, but I... you do have bonuses because I love you. <laughs> Wait, okay. so does pop, does that? Oh, excuse me, it's his turn. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna. Oh, dang it, Pete. Why are you right there? You know, um, I'm a pupper. It's fine. I can take it. Are you sure, buddy? Well, I mean, you don't know if I'm saying this. Um, you could have moved into <laughs> the room, Pete. That's what I did. Oh, definitely. Oh, that's, that's what I did. That's definitely what I Question. did, right? Can I go yeah. here? I mean, you I did say that you ran right up to him. You just yeah, slipped. Yeah. Your hand slipped. You stopped prematurely. Uh, I'll say if Pete walked inside, you can go up to there. Otherwise, no. I, I have to move a snake to get okay. myself. <laughs> Hold on. Silly snake. So am I... Uh, Oh gosh, I have the snake. Oh god! I can't get it. <laughs> um, is that okay, or do you want me to yeah. go where he was? That's okay. fine. You're fine. Really. Then, God, I'm he... so sorry. You move. I my intention was to not hit you. I it's okay. Uh, well, you He's... couldn't get there unless I was wasn't there. This is exactly <laughs> how I, I can take it. Right I can take it. It's fine. I mean, the snake might disappear, but uh... um. So they, he, the Wraith and Pete, I don't think the snake has to, have to make dexterity saving throws. Yeah, but uh, I might lose concentration. That's okay, though. Oh, that's a good point. That's fine. Go for it. I am ready to go. Uh, what's the DC on that? 15, 14. It's 14. Hey, you might as well make your con, your uh, concentration check. It'll be DC 10 either way. That's true. Oh, okay. Um, it, you take half damage even if you pass. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He makes his save. Uh, I haven't rolled for mine. So you yeah, uh, dex first. So con, let's go. Okay. Oh, shit. So snake Why? goes bye bye. Now Why? dex to see how much damage you take. Okay, that's right. 
Snake that was really gone. bad. Poor Snake. Snake. That's okay. Kumar, no! Smithers, no! <laughs> uh, I rail off all the names we've given him. Sad. <laughs> that was... Sad. I mean, Snake took a fireball. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I take the 10 um, damage. It's Doing like you one, ran you back take there, the 10 Pete? Damage, you take the 10 damage, and uh, the shock of this sends you, or knocks you to the ground. Sure. Uh, Kirk is way too into this. Uh, he wants to kill this thing after seeing it uh, do wonders to Hedrick's soul. I mean, we didn't see that. Uh, I heard him. I he heard saw him me looking pretty shitty a second ago. You heard him yeah. make a very girly scream. Ah! Yeah. And it, it, it made Kirk feel very bad. I used my bonus action to get my trident, if possible. Alright. <laughs> Bye, Pete. That's the, my turn! Yeah, you can do that. Uh, Tira... Puffers! Okay. So you you don't lose concentration on your animal. Shots, no, I right? don't. Okay. Because that's just when you drop to zero in that form. Yep. Or if I just choose to. Or just choose. That is not going to hit. Um, I didn't think so. You're you're being careful, too careful around your friends, unlike Kurt. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Kurt was that, being careful. It's just hitting Pete's anyone. a little dumb. No, no. The, the, the player was being careful. Kurt is not at this point. Well, what happened was also Speedy said you couldn't even get to that position unless I wasn't standing there. So, uh. Okay. You could have been standing oh, where I'm standing, but dead. you chose not to. Rip I snake. wanted to. No, no, I didn't have enough movement to get inside. The snake didn't die. He just left. He went home. Patrick, it is no, 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 no. Uh, Pete could have been standing where I was standing. That's a valid point. That's what I was meaning. I don't even care about the, uh. About the. Gosh dang, death, health. Smithers, you, you, don't care care? you don't care about Smithers? Smithers? No, no, not about Smithers. I'm at the, I'm at the damage I took. That's okay. not what we're upset about. <laughs> I'm really upset about Smithers. It's all right. Smithers. He'll just summon But it's, he didn't die, you know? I can get Smithers whenever. Get Smithers get back Smithers. now. <laughs> I, can, I can't get a step Smithers. And you get a Smithers, and you get a Smithers. As an action, I'm going to do the thing that Speedy fucking hates. Yay! <laughs> and I'm going if I can try not to keep closing up the menu. Do this thing. Which, hold on, I'm trying to figure something out. Do, 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 do. All right, so uh, I got this. Oh, sick. Who's sick? I'm and not I just march forward. My oh, you're sick. Fine. No. We're all sick. Oh. And I just We're get right here. Right here. And he will take, uh, make a wisdom save, please, on <laughs> your guy, on your asshole guy. Mm -hmm. uh, DC is 15. It's wisdom. He makes it. Uh, take nine radiant damage. All right. And. That's it. I just also at the start of his turn, he does too. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Which is also now. So go ahead and Which is also let's now. do that again. <laughs> yeah. He makes it again. <laughs> Roll the damage. I know. I don't think you do. So you take eight damage. <gasps> just yeah, when you're walking up. You, you see oh! this radiant light uh, pouring from him, and he screams. And he says, you will never take my prizes. Um, and he's going to reach for Kurg. Touch me, oh. I dare ya. Oh yes, my, not, not the me. pork? <laughs> Get the pork, yes, please. Yes. Nah, he reaches for- Kill the dragon for, boy. Uh, for Kurg. Spam me. <laughs> um, but he doesn't hit. He's, uh, he's held up by your armor. Uh, you, and he's, you able to deflect his grasp. I, I belly bounce it away. I'm like, can't get through this. <laughs> Wait, that was, he was even though I know attack? that probably would have hurt a lot. Yeah, I was making an attack. Oh. Did okay. he have to make an attack against me? No, oh, he's making an attack against Kurt. Against me. It's also racist. <laughs> Wait, it just yeah. hates dragonborns. <laughs> Everything <laughs> in this game hates dragonborns. It's true. Uh, Milo, let's go. If it makes right. you feel any better, I'm indifferent on Dragon So Ball. since I am distracted by this pupper, I am now paying attention. No, I'm kidding. Um, I'm gonna try it again. Do I have good line of sight, or will I, like, shoot somebody if I just stay here? 
You'll hit Kurg. I'll hit Kurg. No, but he has know. scales that doesn't you can, pierce. You can... I have I have I have a lot of fatty tissue. He won't. He has a lot of fatty tissue. You can roll. Which we're gonna shave off and fry up one of these days. Um, oh my. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go for it again. <laughs> um, that is enough to hit. Um, do I get a sneak attack or, or not? Yeah. Yes, yeah, you do. Okay. Definitely. Oh yeah. Ooh shit. Jeez, dude. How do you how do you want to do this? I'm gonna shoot him in the face. I don't know. That's it's a real. Yeah. That's your go-to every single time. I'm going to shoot him in the face. If you shoot <laughs> okay, him should in I the shoot him? Okay, what side is he facing? Is he facing? Is he facing? He's Kirk? facing Kirk. He's facing Kirk right now. He just okay. Then I'm gonna shoot, shoot to him. him. Shoot him in the knee. In that way he his... can't be an adventurer anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot him in it the knee. Fine. I'm gonna shoot him in the knee. I'm gonna shoot him in the knee. To it matters to us. If he's he's going to die. Is the point? But it, it matters. How do you want? I want to shoot. I want to shoot him in the knee. Okay. <laughs> um, it's fatal, didn't you hear? <laughs> your, your arrow flies from your bow and goes straight down into his knee, and it goes straight through all the way behind his kneecap, and you see just the torn, uh, the torn flesh ripping apart as uh, the his calf just separates from uh, the rest of his leg. Um, he falls to the ground with just one leg left, and he says, No. These mines, they were mine once. And he dies. Okay, wait, wait. Before he dies, I'm smiling and waving. <laughs> he doesn't see you. Okay. Bye. Dang it! <laughs> You're too short. I'm too short. I give a happy pork because I'm a talk. Boy, I, I I jab him a few times with my my new spear spear trident. What's up the here? That are flitting around, just kind of like kicking. Yeah, the you stab down. him. You stab him plenty. Uh, his body starts to to fall apart and just wisps of black smoke. Can I search whatever remains there are? Yes. I will search whatever remains that there are. I'll accompany the, the halfling rogue as a pork. See what's in the Which store. Which have a name? Okay. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I don't think I've even I, my characters even learned your name. <laughs> okay, so. I don't know. I'll be honest. <laughs> uh, searching this wraith, you don't find anything on him uh, except for a except for? large Whoa. worn iron. Key. Oh. oh. I will take this large worn iron key. Be like, hey, Kurg. No, oh, yes. He had a, a key on him. Have you seen any l large iron locks around? We have another iron key. That's something that would probably be best for Tira, because she's been our eyes and ears before we go anywhere. We do have a that the stairs back uh, near the forge. Uh, might go somewhere up there. Also, that's a very fancy, fancy trident. Where did you get a trident? Oh, do you like it? Okay. I do. Where did you get that? <laughs> Ooh, Pete helped me use the forge to help put my little broken piece off. Now it's back together, and it's better than ever. The correct answer was, I made this. <laughs> I would like to go to the forge. Um. <laughs> um hold on, Hadrick. We, you just showed us why we shouldn't wander around. Let's make sure Tiro's alright. And I go in here and I... I was, I was following his bork. Okay, you're just a okay. bork though. You're not You're not Grandpa Dragon. <laughs> Strangers <laughs> love me! Yeah, he's a bork and bork. Oh, Tiro, are you alright? I'm bork, bork, uh, fine. What's in the room? <laughs> this room is... Uh, it, it looks like kind of a, a closet. Um, it's mostly empty, uh, some tattered shelves, but in the back, uh, you can see covered with uh, planks of wood that are shattered, uh, a large wooden chest with an iron lock on it. <laughs> Patrick! Right. Yes? Give me that key! So, we did get a key last time as well from... The, the dude way over there in the corner. Mm -hmm. yep. We do we do have two keys. Try one of them. Try your key. I want to try my key. 
Because I think it was a smaller version or small key. Yeah, that key it doesn't fit in this lock at all. It's it's too small. You, it, it just kind of it's like throwing a hot dog down the hallway. <laughs> Kirk, can I see your key? Of course. And I let Hadrick do the deal. Pork. I do the deal. <laughs> so you hand it to the guy behind you to hand to me. <laughs> no, I had the key. Oh, he okay. The key. I thought he had the key. Okay. I could Hadrick. I could open it with so, this. I called up my china. May so I'll walk up to the chest. And also if there's anything bad inside the chest, it'll take three D eight radiant damage. <laughs> as I turn the key into the chest lock. It's um, a mimic. <laughs> no, it would take three D eight radiant. When you open the chest, you see a great deal of coin inside. Um, it's it's filled to the brim with pieces of copper, silver, electrum, gold, and even diamond. Um, I take the largest diamond. They're all roughly the same size. I take oh my. one of when the we diamonds. Do this out, it's gonna be so lovely. I take one of the three diamonds and I hand it to Tira. Say, um, also, uh, I get a diamond. sitting atop all of this gold, <laughs> the thing that stands out the most um, is a uh, a moderately sized wooden pipe uh, that seems to be adorned, uh, embossed with some sort of platinum uh, lining. I'll, Ooh, I'll, yes, I'll curiously yes. pick that up and I'll pick up a diamond and I'll hand a diamond to Tira and I'll say uh, thank you for helping us. I know that you didn't have to. And I'll hand her a diamond I'll put it in my pocket and I'll ask, Curry, can you give me a hand with this? And I'll pull out the bag of holding. Can you just dump this in, please, sir? Just remember that we're, we're, we're getting a share, right? As yeah, I of course. It. I hand him a diamond also. Like a, <laughs> so the okay. one diamond's going into the bag of holding and then all that. Uh, so, um, Milo walks. One? Is that one Electrum? Um, uh, 50 is Electrum. EP, yeah. So, what's that one at the very beginning? A thousand. Uh, a thousand. 1100. Oh, yeah. uh, that's 1100? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of gold. That's okay. 11 gold. That's 11 gold. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I walk in, not knowing that. Pablo has turned into a bork, and I see that, and I just squeal, and I run over and start petting it. Still not the bork. girly sound you've heard all day. <laughs> Ow! And now, I'm you know, a, oh my I'm gosh, it's just acutishing, and I'm just petting it and giving it. I am not. Huh? I, I am not adorable. I'm a giant dire wolf. I am. Well, still, still, he's doing it because he oh, grew around giant diet dire okay. wolves, and he starts giant wolves. You don't look scratching angry, so. his belly. And all that stuff, and just saying, you're just the cutest little thing. You're just the cutest thing. Where did we find him? Where did we find him? Where is this bucker from? Uh, Pupper. <laughs> Pupper. This bucker. <laughs> bucker. <laughs> Where is this bucker from? I'm so excited about that. You can't even talk straight. I no, I can't. Milo, I found and it. I say, Milo, that's a girl. Where is this pupperina from? <laughs> I think I make my he found thing? it somewhere. I'm gonna make this room. toker bigger, by the way. Oh. It needs to be, like, the whole square. <laughs> Where did we find him? Wait, it's, wait, it's, did somebody it's ask you that question? So it's 10 feet by 10. Yeah, I said that Pete found it in the room. Pete? Oh, gosh. Oh, I wish he was here to see it. Oh, it's so adorable. Sure. You should put bows on him, my love. <laughs> bows? On her, on her, sorry. Just adorable. Now, can I, like... Wait, I have rope. Can I, like, make rope bows? Yes. <laughs> and can yes. I put it on there on both of his ears? I'm gonna, I'm gonna start growling at the mention of bows. <laughs> oh, she likes it. Hold on. She roll, likes roll, roll, roll the growling handling. shows you that she likes it. <laughs> Wait. So, what do I roll to put rope bows in both? You don't of have ears? to roll anything. Sleight of I hand. No, no, you will, because I'm gonna run away. Sleight okay, of hand. So Sleight of hand versus. <laughs> no, it's theory. animal handling. No, it's not, it's not an, that's not animal handling. Cause that'd, it's, be it's that'd be dex. Something dex. Sleight of hand. Okay, so sleight of hand, right? Yep. Yeah. I'll just make 30. a dex save like that. Fucking guess. 30, do it. You can use an at 20. I can't even, I can't even pass that. You I have just an at 20 it. from Miami. Jeez. Yeah, but I don't need it. I, I have a 27. 
If I tried to roll, I couldn't even pass that, so... If you... Oh, you already used your nat 20, didn't you? I did. No, I didn't. No, I oh, did. I used it. I used it to like, get rid of that beholder thing. I would give you one, but I really want you have bows on you. <laughs> oh, wait, oh, I've got another nat twenty. Just, I, I don't know, but I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use it. To... All right, while he's putting I will bows accept on, the bows begrudgingly. While he's putting bows on this female <laughs> dog, um, I would like to go to the forge, and Kaylin can accompany me. Whoever wants to accompany me. Okay, I'll, yeah, follow Kaylin probably, I'll probably ask Kirk, Kirk if you'd come with me since you've already used it. Oh yes, yeah, so I'll give you a tutorial. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I wanna, yeah, I wanna go. So um, wait, are we all going to the forge? <laughs> okay, I look around it. Fine, yeah. I've been there. That was I the thing I there. went in there to do, and I just didn't do it. I look around as a fork. I, mean, I was pretty focused on the closed so, door. Wait, do I have to roll? To look around, see uh, what was it? Investigation. Investigation. Per perception. Oh, that's 